What's going on UFC fight fans? This is your boy iPod King Carter here. Let's go over the clinch. Now today we're going to be starting off with some easy strikes. We're going to start with the knees. This is how you abuse those. Not hard at all. We're going to abuse the body with some good old knees. And then we're going to go to the head. You guys know that's my go-to move. I love the knees and the clinch. But there's also things you can do up against the cage. You can do just about the same thing that I did standing in the center of the ring. But today I'm going to be showing you guys what to do with the hands. Now you can hit them with elbows, you can hit them with just fists, and you can even hit to the body. It's not hard at all. But let's move on to something more tackling for you guys. Now in the clinch, I love to take people down in the clinch because most people don't expect it. Most people expect you to strike only. Now when you take people down in the clinch, you have many of advantages. You can go to the ground and be on top mount. You can go to the ground and side control. Sometimes you do end up in full guard, but full guard isn't bad. I'm going to show you guys what full guard is all about. It's easy to get to top mount from there because most people just expect you to either try to land a couple blows as soon as you go to the ground. Me, I immediately go into transitions. Now, this fighter Cormier is a fighter that has a lot of different movesets in the clinch. He can take you down from over under, single collar, double under, the back. He can take you down many different ways. Now, let me show you guys a little something that I like to say is one of the best moves in the game with Daniel Cormier. You can literally take a guy's back. And go in for a submission from the back. Now, this is one of those moves that it may take you a while to get there. But once you get there, you cannot be stopped because you already have an advancement of three moves. You already have your legs locked in. And all you have to do is just hit the button twice and you have a rear naked choke i'm telling you guys if you want to be one of those submission artists this is going to be one of those moves that you have to have in your arsenal with a great clinch game now this next clinch that i'm going to show you guys is just the regular ones from the single collar a lot of people don't like to go for takedowns a single collar but me per se i do like to do that now what i'm going to show you guys is me implementing these moves in a real life game now, I know a lot of people are probably going to say, hey, man, what difficulty are you playing on? Don't worry about that for the moment. Worry about what you can do against your opponent online. Now, a lot of fighters don't play UFC for offline reasons. They always go to online. And right here, right now, you're going to see a top mount destruction. Me just destroying Rashad Evans on top mount, putting him to sleep. This is something that you need in your arsenal, man. You need to learn to clinch. You have to go to practice mode. If you don't go to practice mode, you're never going to be able to learn these moves. Now, next up is the rear naked choke. You guys know that I said I like using that move, and I do use this move in the game. You're probably going to see a lot of this from me in career mode. And a rear naked choke is a move that is needed. It is a must. If you play UFC Ultimate Team, and you get this move, it must be equipped immediately. You understand me? Immediately. But right there, I got the rear naked choke. Daniel Cormier is a very, very good, how should I say, takedown artist. You know, he does what he has to do. But with that move, it makes him somewhat OP because he has a great clinch game. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to also show you the striking in the clinch in real gameplay. Now, a lot of people have already seen my type of gameplays where I abuse the knees. I am an abuser. I will admit, I do like to abuse the knees. But when they're there, you have to take them. Now, right there, I just stunned him. And he got back. You know, it's okay. You know, some fighters just have a great chin. But sometimes you have to destroy that chin. No matter what, do not give up on a fighter when he has a lot of head damage whatever you do do not let a fighter get his composure do not let a fighter come back and right now he's already out he's already done he's already gone so right there that is the clinch that is it in its essence in order to learn a clinch you have to go to practice mode and in order to perfect it you have to fight online you can fight the computer as many times as you want, but until you get a feel on how users play, it won't come to fruition. Now, I'm going to show you guys one last clip of me fighting in UFC Ultimate Team. And I'm going to tell you right now, abusing those knees is my specialty. That is a all-over fight, ladies and gentlemen. 
I hope you liked the video. I hope I helped. Remember, practice mode, guys. Make sure you like the video and share with all your friends, all your rookies, all you amateurs. And make sure you see me online. iPod King Carter TV. Peace.